Yo guys, what is up? So here we have a brand new trailer that came out yesterday and it's for Batwoman Season 3. Now, we will be seeing Batwoman on Wednesdays rather than Sundays as normal, as well as Legends of Tomorrow as well, um, October 13th if I'm not wrong, and also Flash is on November or somewhere. So yeah, <laughs> we'll be getting new seasons pretty soon. So. Uh, Alright, so yeah, speaking of um, Batwoman, the last season, if you ask me, I wasn't that sold into the last season. I actually think the first season was a better season than the second one. So yeah, that's that. I just, look, like, season 2, it had a lot of its um, good moments, but I don't think it, it was as good as the first one. I really preferred the first one more than the second one. I'm sorry if, if that disappointed you, if you're more of a fan of season 2, but... Yeah, I just think season one was better, and uh, and also I'm not really like that into Ryan Wilder being Batwoman, cause I I just don't think her character really suits to be Batwoman. I just think that they should have um recasted Kate Kane earlier in uh, before season two came out and just continued the story from season one instead of introduce this new character and then giving her the mantle of Batwoman, which just doesn't suit this character at all. Like, I'm just like, can we get Kate Kane's Batwoman back? That's what I've, I've been thinking like the entire season. When are we gonna get Kate Kane back? <laughs> no, they should have just recast it like earlier in the season instead of recasting her like somewhere in the mid season and then starting the story with uh, Kate is still alive and I uh, you know Black Mask captured her and wanted to bring his daughter back and you know with that story. Because if they recast it like Kate Kane way really earlier, like before season two started, we would have gotten a different story probably with Black Mask because, because you know if she was recasted, then we wouldn't get the probably we wouldn't get the story with uh, Kate crashing from the plane and then Batwoman sorry Ryan Wilder finding the suit, and then Black Mask was the one who captured. Um, Kate and then putting Cersei inside her head and all that. We wouldn't have gotten all that story. We would have probably get another story. Who knows? Could have been even better than the one we saw last season. So, you know, and I thought, okay, fine. They're bringing back Kate Kane in one way or another. So I was just thinking, okay, when are we going to get Kate Kane as Batwoman back? Can you just please give us Kate Kane back as Batwoman? And then after that last episode, she was like, you know, you can keep Batwoman. I'm gonna go find Bruce instead. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> I wanted you back as um, Batwoman. What are you doing this? Because then what's the point that they even recast it in Kate Kane if not, they're not gonna use her as Batwoman anymore? And what's the point? They could have just not recasted the character at all. I just don't understand what, they, what they're trying to do. Like, what's the point of recasting the character if they're not gonna use it? So, yeah, I mean, it's not like we can change anything anyway. So we just gotta... Continue with Ryan Wilder's Batwoman, which for me I'm not really, but I watch it anyway because it's you know DC stuff. So, anyways, um, so this is a season three trailer a month before the season starts. It's just one minute and ten seconds. It's more like a teaser trailer, if you ask me. So let's get into this trailer. So Batwoman season three. Let's go. So what's next, Batwoman? We need to find that case of Batman trophies before mm. anyone else But does. they fell in the river. It's Matt Hatter? We're, we're gonna see Matt Hatter. Looks like it. Testing one, two, three. Huh? Gather round, friends. Wait, is that never long bottom? Lovely afternoon. No, it's not again. His voice is different. By the order of the mayor's office, you will be remanded into supervised custody. Mm -hmm. Attempt to escape. You will spend the remainder of your life in solitary confinement. Brad Wing. Any questions? Yes. Does this crack my ensemble? <laughs> Four down. How many still out there? Yep, poison ivy. My team gets a beat on the There was killer croc. You use your creepy brain to figure out where it is. Who then? Mad as a hatter. <laughs> yeah, it is Mad Hatter. October 13th, free next day only on the CW app. Uh, I guess, but wait, didn't Matt Hatter and 
I assume that was Killer Proc. Wait, let me go back. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It looked like Killer Croc. It looked like it. But wait, didn't Bruce Wayne already beat Killer Croc and Mad Hatter? Because that's the reason why they, he has like the trophies of them, his hat and Killer Croc's tooth. So are they not actually defeated or did they break out of prison or something? <laughs> or this a new version of Mad Hatter, maybe it's not Jervis Dutch, it's just a new version of Mad Hatter, maybe I don't know man, you know you don't know with like today's uh, Marvel or DC shows they just come up with like for that um, villain or hero but then instead if you, they're um, like the, their own name it would be a different person like instead of, like almost like Castmaster it's not Anthony Master it's a Antonio Drake or some, something like that you know they could use the name Matt Hatter but then he would be someone else you know so maybe but it's okay I think Killer Croc looks awesome too I think this design looks better than the, than the Suicide Squad one it looks a bit scary uh, so this was it one minute you can't actually get a lot from it so it seems like Alice is getting out of prison and then she's under the watch of Ryan Marlowe and then the story it seems like it's going in a way where um, Ryan Wilder is getting back all the Batman trophies that gone missing. So that's the plot of the season, like finding the missing trophies of Batman villains. Well, look, this, this is a one minute trailer. Okay, we can't come in a, come into a big like conclusion of what this season is gonna be. But we're getting Matt Hatter. We're getting um to the Croc. So I think. It has a chance, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just see where this goes, I guess. I just hope we see Kate Kane again, please. Maybe season four of Batwoman or something. Make her Batwoman again, please. I just want to see her back as Batwoman. Uh, whatever. So, yeah, that was okay for one minute, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, th th there was a lot, too, actually, not gonna lie. We did see, like two big Batman villains and like what's gonna happen with Alice and what's kind of like the main plot or maybe the subplot which is like finding trophies and there were just some unknown people that not really sure who they are and even we saw Batwing, Batwing was awesome in the finale with the, uh, his Optimus Prime head and everything so yeah I guess that's it uh so it's only one minute, so well um yeah that's all I gotta say after watching this trailer, this one minute trailer. So uh yeah, if you guys love that reaction for me for Batwoman season three trailer, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. And yeah, um thank you for watching. I got a lot more stuff to react to from the last few weeks. I got a lot of episodes to react to because I missed out on a lot of series actually guys because I you know because of work and all that so I missed out on a lot of episodes so I gotta react to all of them and there's actually a lot more like almost 20 episodes so it's gonna take a lot of time so don't be surprised if you keep getting notifications on your phone you know that I keep posting a lot of reactions you know don't be like what, what's happening to this dude? Why is he uploading a lot of stuff? <laughs> Don't be surprised if you see a lot of notifications coming on. So, anyways, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you soon in my Rex reaction. So, well, um, take care, stay safe. Uh, see you later.